Welcome to our channel. In the next few sessions, we will be modeling various sections of a divided roadway with civil 3D as shown on this layout. Looking at our drawing um, gives us an idea of what we are dealing with. We, we have this road going from east to west called Main Street and includes two turn lanes together with a series of left and right turn options. There's also a north to east, a north to south street called secondary street with a series of left and right op turn options. We invite you to select the sections you would like us to start on through the poll. Please click on the link to the poll in the description of this video. In this process of modeling this divided roadway, we will also be documenting our design process and thus compile SOPs which will then be made available through the tool palettes. The undivided roadway in this portion, section A, it includes the beginning of our road, road which comprises an undivided roadway that begins to widen in anticipation of the median in the next section. In our section B, we have a divided roadway with a paved median and the two roadways are at similar elevations. Then in section C, we have our major intersection. This section is for the modeling of a four-way intersection with dedicated 10 lanes. We will model a corridor to deal with the breaks in the median and 10 lanes crossing the center line. In section D, this section includes a divided roadway with an unpaved median and the two roadways are at different elevations. Then in section E, our divided roadway is beginning to narrow down in anticipation of the undivided roadway in this, in this area towards the end. In the process of designing this roadway, we will develop standards and SOPs which will be then shared and updated automatically through scripts as described in our previous video on design mapping process. We have provided a link in the description of this video to that. The content that will be shared is structured in this folder structure and then becomes accessible through tool palettes. We have already created some of this content and uh, we we'll put it in here. For example, if we look at our workflow for the road design, already here we have identified our uh, inputs to the process and also what the first and second steps are. Then what we have also done is then already we've created a workflow for, for the creation of this uh, base map. As you can see, we provide a step-by-step -step, uh, procedure of how we would like uh, our staff to prepare a, um, a base surface, which will then be used in the entire design process. Please make your selection on the poll by following the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe as well to the channel so that you can get notification when the videos of your choice are uploaded. Thank you.